Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Excellent, excellent. I'd also like to thank and welcome the newest members of the Chamber's Executive Committee. I'm proud that we have a strong lineup for the coming years. In 2021, Affleck's Teresa White, who's sitting right up here in front, will serve as our chair, followed in 2022 by Ben Tarbutton. So congratulations, Teresa and Ben. Tony Hilliard, Heather Tillet, Neil Pruitt, and Dr. Bill Clark will also serve in our executive committee, and Brandon Reese will be joining us in June. So thank you all for your commitment to the organization. I am truly humbled and honored to serve as the first chair of this new decade. And I look forward to continuing the legacy of partnering with our local chambers and our elected elite leaders. This new decade demands that we stay in the forefront of legislative debates, current issues, and future trends by leading, educating, and collaborating to bring about the best outcomes for the business community. This means that we will continue to be fierce advocates for job creation, for your business and your organizations, and for free enterprise. Delta Airlines believes in these same principles, and that is why we've proudly partnered with the Georgia Chamber since we first came to Georgia to what's now Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. And thank you, Mayor Lance Bottoms, for your stewardship of that incredible asset. In my role as Chief Legal Officer at Delta Airlines, one of my jobs is to ensure that bad public policies do not compromise our ability to compete or inhibit Delta's freedom to operate. And that is why we are always looking to the future. This chamber is here to do the same for your organizations. This year, we will engage in an aggressive advocacy and education strategy that prioritizes maintaining a welcome and inclusive reputation for business and for people. We will be investing in our talent pool, attracting the best talent to this great state, developing the best talent in this great state. We'll be expanding innovation in markets, investing in infrastructure, and most importantly for me personally, promoting and defending free enterprise. Around the world, we're seeing challenges to capitalism and questions about the benefits of free markets. I want there to be no mistaking this chamber's position. We believe in and we will tell the story of the good, the incredible good that business does. The investments we all make in our communities and environment, the role that business plays in moving people out of poverty and into prosperity, the role that capitalism plays in creating opportunities by growing the economy, the importance of pro-job creation policies that provide true economic mobility. The free enterprise system is the very best, without exception. It creates jobs, builds communities, fuels innovation, and forces us to be stewards to ensure a sustainable future. For 105 years, the Chamber has been and will continue to be an unapologetic champion of your business an independent and business partisan organization. I'm grateful and humbled to serve this amazing organization 
and to further this message in 2020. Now, to share more about the Chamber's efforts as we enter this new decade, please help me welcome our President and CEO, Chris Clark. <laughs> 